How do you quickly get into a focused mode when you have important tasks to complete? I'm David Stjernholm and in this week's episode of Done, I'll introduce you to a Windows app that has recently added a new feature to make it easier for you to concentrate. But first, when improving your structure, will you lose flexibility in your work? No, on the contrary. I'll explain in a quick blog post on the Structure blog. You'll find the link in the show notes. When you have blocked off focus time in your calendar and the time has come, you want to block out everything else and fully focus on the tasks that require your concentration. The lower the threshold for getting into focus mode, the easier it is to make the most of your valuable time. In the latest version of the app Windows Clock, which has been a faithful servant since 2013, Microsoft has added an elegant feature that helps you in exactly this situation. In one single window, you can set how long your focus time will be, choose a task from your to-do list in Microsoft To Do, and select a focus playlist from Spotify to listen to while working. Then, when you click on Start Focus Session, the focus time begins. The clock app has divided your focus time into chunks and shows you how far you have come in that particular chunk. When it's time for a short break, it'll notify you. You can set the length of the break yourself. I like how they have created an all-in-one kit with this app that you can use when you need focus time. So do this. If you haven't tried the clock app in Windows yet, but find it appealing, go ahead and download it to try it out. It's free and you can find it in the Microsoft Store. The name is Windows Clock. Unfortunately, if you have a Mac, you will miss out on this app as it is only available for Windows. There are several work focus apps for the Pomodoro Technique and others for Mac OS, but I haven't found one I trust enough to share my Spotify login information. Have you? If so, email me. The address is, as always, david at stjernholm.com. But the Clock app lets you quickly jump in and out of your focus time. You can easily choose the right task, you can get a sound environment to help you and not have to keep track of time yourself. Isn't that worth trying? Have you tried the Clock app? If so, what do you think about it? Have you found a way to use it that works particularly well for you? Please write to me at david at and let me know. I'm curious to hear about your experiences. And by the way, thanks to Maria at Ox2 for telling me about the new Clock App feature when I recently gave a series of talks there. And thanks to you for listening to this podcast. If you like what you find here, tell your friends and colleagues to subscribe to Done as well. See you again next week.